Hello, everybody. This is Brian Lee, who is the student body president. Is that right? Uh, yes, ma'am. What do you do for fun? And grandfather is usually around, so I like to, you know, do stuff with him. Like, you know, throw a blanket over him, catch him by surprise. That's That gets him. <laughs> you know, sometimes you just got to shock him to make sure he's still paying attention to you, right? Ah, I'm here. Ah. <laughs> is there anything you don't know? If so, tell me. Um, where does your lap go when you stand up? In your Because it's where your was, wasn't it? Yes. If there's one message you want to tell someone right now, who would it be and what would you say? Uh, my grandfather? <laughs> you would say my I grandfather like, yeah, to your like grandfather? Him. No, oh, I, you I, that I, you like him. <laughs> That's pure. That's very pure as you go throw a blanket over his <laughs> head. I've seen some of your tweets. Brian Lee, I've noticed a trend. <laughs> On February 28th of 2020 at 1.21 p.m., shortly after, I'm guessing you had second lunch, maybe first, and it just hit you. Is it just me or did the shrimp taste a little funky today during lunch? Anyone else feeling a little weird after eating that blackened mahi-mahi today at lunch? My stomach is hashtag not happy with me, hashtag this ain't right, hashtag sorry in advance, hashtag uh-oh, hashtag it's brewing, hashtag this is a mess, hashtag welp it happened, hashtag Ray Liotta. This one says, taking a big doo-doo during English, hashtag... Stinky duty. You got 106,000 retweets and 80,000 likes. First of all, you're an articulate man and you say taking a big doo doo during English and you say stinky duty. Now, I'm speaking from experience, but back in my day, I was a huge juicy jean wearer. You? I, I, I wore khakis. No juicy. When I was when I was little, some a little person like taped a little "kick me" sign on there, but that that was about it. You know, I don't I don't usually have a lot of stuff over there hanging over my uh, my biscuits. Um, you know, you could just say. <laughs> <laughs> okay, next game is what does this make you feel? Okay, so I'm gonna show you a picture, and you tell me what it makes you feel, Brian. Do you get it? My man, Thomas Cole. Oh. Thomas Cole, he had he had this these really nice uh, paintings. Uh, I think defining landscape paintings of the uh, you don't see artists the likes of him anymore. How do you explain Dua Lipa? Okay, next we've got Timothy Chatterjee, Chalamet, Chamelay. Uh, yeah, he's hot. Now we've got, who do we have? D -d 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 Dean Ross. Oh, he looks nice in that one. Doesn't he? I feel Very like the nice. colors in the back really bring out his eyes. And also, you know, I never looked at someone and said, you know what? That was a good idea putting on that yellow button down shirt. But, but I'm going to say that about this photo. He, he works with it. He does. Sure. Yeah. Yeah. It would look better with juicy jeans. I'm so up. What's one fashion trend you'd bring back? People used to have a lot wear, wear gray shirts a lot more often. Um, you know, back in the seventies, I used to roller skate right down Fifth Ave, just right down Fifth Ave, and uh, I was a bit heavier back then. But I did wear a tiny, tiny cropped shirt, this gray shirt. So everyone could see where I was sweating from. These tight Daisy Duke shorts. Just literally my skin was seeping out of them while I was rollerblading down Fifth Avenue. My sweat was flying everywhere. Mm -hmm. And on top of that, listen to this. Ready? <laughs> I was wearing a yellow hat with big little horns coming out of them and i would i would go around and i would say look at me and i would sing billy joel's uptown girl and i'd be like 
I'd be like sweating just everywhere. You never even think that you could sweat from there, but guess what? It was dripping. Uh, oh, so well, so long as you're comfortable. That's the understanding you were talking about. Mm -hmm. Yes. You follow through on your word, on your words, on mm -hmm. your words. You brought a can of corn. Is that right? Mm -hmm. But when we was finished with the with the corn, I just simply uh, went ahead and made spoon bread. It's like corn and cream and cornmeal and. That sounds like diarrhea to me. Anytime I have anything that's whole, whatever, whole milk, skim milk, anything that comes from a cow, I'm. Uh -huh. <laughs> so, this has been uh, very wonderful. This has been, and you are truly a spectacular young man. You too. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Thank you. You're welcome. Really appreciate it. Thank, thank you for that. You did a great job. You too. You're a stand-up kid. Uh, yes, you are. A you, you are too. You've yeah. got a smile that can warm the hearts of the iciest souls. Oh, th you too. Thank you. You have the strength of a thousand gladiators. Uh, uh. <laughs> and you're a good person. That's not what my ex said. <laughs> Don't show up. Don't come out.